What to Play presents 15 of the best iOS titles during the first half of 2021, all arranged by play scores. To check out our full list, visit our website at whattoplay.com. You can also take part in our rankings by leaving reviews of the games that you played. Starting off at 15th place is Infinite Galaxy. If anyone is looking for a space sim for the iOS, Camel Games cooks up something to satiate that hunger for epic space battles. Those familiar with popular space sims such as Stellaris will find this a great substitute, especially when it's on a mobile format. Infinite Galaxy lets you manage your own galactic empire, rebuild a once broken dreadnought, and witness the growth of your army in a matter of in-game years. Like all simulators, this requires the players to invest their time in micromanaging everything from resources to spaceports and more. It receives a play score of 8.43. Up in 14th place is Northgard. It seems like the iOS is getting more and more strategy games on the App Store. Shiro Game City Builder RTS will be familiar to those who play 4X titles like Age of Empires, Civilization, maybe even Clash of Clans. Lead a band of Vikings and help them evolve into this era. It's not as complicated compared to the games mentioned, but its well-balanced economy and hours and hours of playtime still feels like it's a pocket version of premium RTS titles. A play score of 8.48. In our 13th spot is Astrocraft. All those days watching anime about robots fighting one another has finally led to this moment, at least from a mobile user's perspective. Astrocraft is a mecha-based battle royale where you gear up your metallic monster and let him tear apart enemies in its massive arena. The game has a lot of options for you to consider, namely in its customization. Equip them with the best firepower known to man, but be mindful of the game's aggressive microtransactions. Once you're done beefing up your mechanical avatar, you can climb the ranks in no time. A play score of 8.49. 12th spot belongs to Smash Legends. This 3 vs 3 multiplayer game is far from Nintendo's popular crossover fighting game. It's a top-down MOBA where you control various characters, each with their unique abilities. Those who enjoy Wild Rift or Mobile Legends can find something fun here if they can get past its unbalanced matchmaking. While the game is out for quite some time, there are still numerous issues plaguing it, including pay-to-win mechanics like game-changing microtransactions. The gameplay is by far its best feature. You can always try it out since it received a generous play score of 8.51. 11th place is NBA Ball Stars. Before we talk about the game proper, it's best you know that this isn't your usual NBA game. You don't shoot hoops here. Instead, it's a match 3 puzzle game where you rack up the highest score and unlock special cards based on your favorite NBA athletes. You don't get to interact with the game at all, but hey, if you're into Candy Crush and love some NBA, you might just enjoy this. A play score of 8.52. Tenth on our list is The Oregon Trail. A re-release for the Apple Arcade, Gameloft takes into the familiar dangers of the classic Oregon Trail, where you lead a band of hopeful individuals towards civilization. With its randomized paths, it's no easy feat. Each adventure brings upon different surprises for your brave settlers. Managing those resources right and making tough decisions can change the course of your journey. It receives a play score of 8.53. In our ninth spot is Touch Grind Scooter, a BMX game where instead of using an actual BMX, you use your fingers to perform snazzy tricks and gain combos. There's a lot of content to enjoy if you're into this form of thrill-seeking. You can customize your scooters and even unlock more if you can rise up to its challenges. It receives a play score of 8.54. Eighth on the list is Giant Dancing Plushies a kaiju game that dabbles in the adorable. Compared to the normal kaijus we see on TV, they're not the fire-breathing lizards and giant mechanical robots. They're everyday plushies we encounter in a toy store. Giant Dancing Plushies is all about that, really. Gameplay involves rhythm-based timing where you guide them to their next onslaught. Sure, they're cute, but they're destructive. At least they come with pretty colors. A play score of 8.60. 7th place is Unruly Heroes. 
a huge leap from PC to mobile, this mischievous monkey king myth is now available on iOS. Ancient China's fate is up to four implausible heroes to turn back the tide. In this adventure, San Zhang, Wu Kong, Qi Hong, and Sand Monk travel to fantastical lands to gather scroll pieces and fight evil. Effortlessly immersing you in 16th century China with their visuals, the spirit of competition with their local and online PvP, master the combined strength of each unique hero, and test your reflexes across a multitude of challenging enemies and bosses. A play score of 8.61. Our sixth entry is Hunt Down. This iOS arcade title from Coffee Stain is like a time machine. Anyone familiar with Contra or Metal Slug will find this game's aesthetic and gameplay delightful. Help these bounty hunters secure the bag in this sprawling cyberpunk city. This side-scrolling retro shooter really takes us back to the good old days of 80s gaming. Hunt Down takes pride in its inspirations from the games that came before and injects it with their own unique and modern twist. A play score of 8.64. Fifth ranking is Sixit. This indie adventure takes players to a strange world full of anthropomorphic characters. Sixit's gimmick lies in its limited number of moves. Its story is about a young mammal with a strange gift to only move with six actions, hence the name. Your journey will consist of repelling a vicious, sentient storm that threatens the land. Make the best of your limited moves and solve a myriad of puzzles through trial and error. A play score of 8.66. Fourth on the list is Queen Rock Tour. UK's beloved rock legends have their own rhythm game for the iOS and it's taking over our fourth place on the list. Vive to the tunes from their greatest albums like Bohemian Rhapsody, We Will Rock You, and more. Master different instruments for each song and tap the tiles to become the ultimate music legend. Freddie Mercury would be proud. A play score of 8.68. Ranked third in the list is Overboard. Climbing to our third spot is an unlikely visual novel where you try to get away with murder. Yeah, you heard that right. We've reached the point in gaming where this is indeed possible. Lay out some clues, fabricate evidence, and deceive the entire populace using your charms. You have eight hours to escape from the clutches of justice, so plan every move and make sure you trust the right people. It's highly replayable as the events will change depending on your choices. This is Inkle's best work yet, and it receives a play score of 8.69. Second place is Fantasian. While it took the crown of our last best mobile list, Square Enix's Apple Arcade JRPG fell back one spot on the iOS. Fantasian is a product of the industry legends responsible for the Final Fantasy series. Any fan of JRPGs will enjoy the world and its themes, especially in tandem with Nobuo Uematsu's fantastic score. Players assume the role of the protagonist, Leo, who awakens from a massive explosion only to find himself lost in a strange land with only one memory left to him. A play score of 8.73. Standing over everyone at first place is Divinity Original Sin 2. Divinity is Larian Studios' crowning jewel and a testament to their love of tabletop games. It's made its way to multiple platforms and recently iOS. Original Sin 2 evolved in ways we didn't even expect. It revamped most of the clunky features of the original and dived deeper into characters and storylines. It's the perfect RPG for iOS and it's packed with hours of content. It receives a play score of 